we would like to introduce you to a new generation sawmill, a mill that can be operated easily by one man. This new generation sawmill is Woodmiser Lumber Mill. A lot of people ask, how did we get started with the portable sawmill? And Dad and Dan decided they wanted to create something new and they came out with a portable sawmill in the middle of Indiana in the cornfields. Neither one of them knowing anything about sawmills. So I believe that was divine intervention to this day that they decided to do that. Dan built the first sawmill, ended up not having a log. You know, I said, I've got a log. Drove the sawmill up next to it, loaded it onto the bed. We looked down the, the board and it was as flat as could be. And we thought, whoa, you know, this thing actually cuts wood. It was one of those crazy ideas because they had no experience in making a sawmill. They had no experience in using a sawmill. This was a whole brand new world to them. And their idea was to make a band mill using a thin curved band, which many people had tried and they had all failed. Can you give me a smile? Sure. Thank you. That first advertisement went out. All of a sudden, about the middle of 1982, a man by the name of Joe Bistrovich called and placed his order, sight unseen. Don personally delivered the sawmill and trained Mr. Bistrovich. So you talk about a guy taking a chance with a young company that had no proven track record. The thought that you could follow the dream of sawmilling, running your own business, being independent, taking care of your own machine. You didn't really need anybody else um, to be able to go and, and make a living. And I think that was extraordinary and very attractive to a lot of people as we know. We're at our show in Ligna, and that is the sign that's on the side of our, the mobile home. The option of being able to go out and buy a sawmill and actually cut lumber for a project or something you wanted to do didn't exist. I never forget, we would go to shows and there would be all these old timers with their arms crossed and this, this look on their face like, there's no way that saw can cut that log. And we'd start that mill up and we'd make that cut and that little bandsaw blade would go through there and we'd get done, we'd shut it off and those guys would come up there and look at it and feel that and they still just would shake their head and they just couldn't figure out how it did it. That was fun to be able to go to those things and watch people just stand around as we're peeling off little pieces of wood and being new, it was, it was a lot of fun to have people watch. It's really generated a ton of interest for people to dream and think, wow, I can do that.